hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b to the power of 4 is equals to b minus 1 to the power of 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of p so here we need to find all that four roots of the given equation uh, we need to find all that four or less than uh, four roots of this equation so uh, here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to rewrite this equation as here we need to move this b to the power of 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes here b minus 1 to the power of 4 this is positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we rewrite this equation as we write b minus 1 to the power of 4 as b minus 1 whole b minus 1 whole square and its whole square minus this is b to the power of 4 becomes b square and its whole square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and uh, here uh, here uh, we just use this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula uh, we write here our above equation as you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we write here uh, this formula on here and our above equation is written as this is a minus b and the value of this term is our a and it is uh, b minus 1 whole square minus the value of b is b square this is the first factor and the second factor is a plus b again the value of a is b minus 1 whole square plus the value of b is b square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b minus 1 whole square minus b square equals to 0 and the second case is we write b minus 1 whole square plus b square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 so here uh, we need uh, to uh, solve these two equations but now here first we need to focus on equation number one so from equation number one we have so in equation number one uh, we again use this nice formula or we can apply here this formula in equation number one so after applying this formula over this equation is written as the first factor is a minus b the value of a is uh, b minus 1 minus b into the second factor is a plus b so we have b minus 1 plus b is equals to 0 so here we need more simplifications and you see here this is negative b and this is positive b are cancelled out by each other and we will get here minus 1 times of b plus b equals to 2b minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so in the next step we need more simplifications and here uh, we multiply this negative sign on each of these terms and it will becomes minus 2b minus times minus becomes plus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so this implies that here we need to move this minus 2b to the right hand side and it will becomes 1 is equals to 2b so here uh, for the values of b we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so this 2 and this 2 are gone and we will get here b is equals to 1 divided by 2 so this is the value of b so this is the first uh, root of the given equation uh, which we get here from equation number 1 and now here for other roots we need to solve our equation number 2 so uh, for other roots we need to copy down equation number 2 here and equation number 2 is b minus 1 whole square plus b square equals to 0. So here we use uh, the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have x minus y whole square is equals to x square minus 2 times of xy plus y square. So the base of this term is our x and the base of this term is our y 
so we use this nice formula to the above equation so if we can uh, just apply this formula here this is this is the value of x and this is value of y okay so after using this formula we write our above equation as so first you have b square minus <clears throat> 2 times of b into 1 plus uh, y square so y is 1 square and plus b square and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is b square minus 2b plus the 1 square equals to 1 plus this is b square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms. So we have b square plus b square becomes 2 times of b square. This is minus 2b and plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the our uh, quadratic formula. And now here further in the next step. Uh, this is quadratic equation sorry so uh, we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here you know, we apply the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so uh, here you know, for this first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a equals to 2 capital b equals to minus 2 and capital c is equals to plus 1 okay so we state the quadratic formula as in this form uh, so uh, we uh, know about that b equals to minus capital b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and further in the next step we need to substitute uh, all the uh, values of a b and c here and it will be written as b is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square it is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 2 and c is 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 2. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as b is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of minus 2 square becomes 4 minus this is 4 times of 2 divided by 2 times of 2 equals to 4. And now here in the next step uh, we need to focus inside the square root sign and you see here both of these fours are common terms so that we will take common four from here and we get the remaining values are when we take common four it will becomes one minus two square root and it is divided by four so further in the next step we need to break this square root sign and we apply here this square root sign separately on both of these values and it will become 2 plus minus square root of 4 into square root of minus 1 divided by 4 and further in the next step we have uh, this is 2 plus minus square root of 4 becomes 2 into square root of minus 1 becomes iota then uh, we break this fraction as uh, 2 divided by 4 plus minus 2 iota is divided by 4. So we need to simplify the terms this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get our b is equals to 1 over 2 plus minus this is also 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get here 1 over 2 into iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have b is equals to 1 over 2 be the only one real root of the given equation so these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos